the sun rises over one of the hottest places in South Africa. The exact location is kept secret. This is where prototypes are exposed to extreme heat and adverse conditions. Yes, sir. We have come to a salt pan in Africa today where we will be performing hot climate tests. It's the start of a busy day for Christoph Weber and his car. At the moment, the temperature is still pleasant, but that will soon change. Hidden beneath the tarp is a mass prototype of the Audi e-tron, Audi's first fully electronic SUV. It will have to face multiple merciless heat tests today. There are two major challenges on the agenda. It's now 40 degrees Celsius in the shade. The hot wind blows dry desert dust across the endless landscape. The soil is salty with sharp edges, conditions you would never subject your car to by choice. But there will be no mercy for the e-tron prototype. If it can make it here, it can make it anywhere. And off they go, far into the desert. The sun has now reached its zenith. It's boiling hot, and there's no shade to be seen. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't leave your nicely air-conditioned vehicle. But that's exactly what Christoph Weber has to do for the first challenge, the cool-down test. The requirement for our customers worldwide is to always have a nicely air-conditioned interior, I'm installing a thermometer now so that we can measure the interior temperature. We're just heating up now to get to the starting temperature. Then we can see whether we can achieve the corresponding head temperature value of 22 degrees Celsius in 15 minutes at full blower output and manual air recirculation. The temperature in the interior has reached 68 degrees Celsius. We can start now. Cooling down by 46 degrees Celsius without air conditioning, just with the fan. Quite a challenge. We did it. On to the next test. Now it's time for the second and most power intensive task of the day. Challenge number two, accelerating from zero to 200. In this test, the battery really has to show what it's capable of. It has passed this test many times at normal temperatures. but. Will it be able to do it after having driven so many kilometers and at these high outside temperatures? We made it. Even after six accelerations, the battery still provides enough power. But now it's time for the e-tron to go to sleep and charge its battery for the next day. Engineer Christoph Weber can also relax a little now and charge his own batteries. Tomorrow will be another day of heat, dust, and driving thousands of kilometers across the desert. <laughs>